God breathed, God inspired, and that's how we have our scriptures, the word of God. But there are two important things I want to just emphasize today. So the first thing is this, that God works by his words. So many times we say, God, work in my life. God, do something powerful in me. Oh, God, heal me. God, deliver me. Oh, God, intervene in my situation. God, I want you to work in me. God's word carries God's power. One of the primary ways that you are going to encounter the power of God is when you interface with his word, when you connect with his word. Because his word is a carrier of the power of God. Psalm chapter 33 Verses 6 and 9, it says, by the word of the Lord, by the word of the Lord, the heavens were made and all the host of them by the breadth of his mouth. So it's just this vast expanse of this universe, so big, so great. It says all of that came in just by the, into existence, just by the word of the Lord. He spoke, verse 9, he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. We know it, the universe is continuously expanding. uh, Trying to tell us that those words that were spoken in time past continue to have its effects. What we must also understand is when God wants to work in your life and mine, the lives of his people, he does the same thing. And it says in verse 20, he sent his words. And healed them. And delivered them. From their destructions. He sends his word. And delivers. Heals. By the word of God. The reign of his word comes. You're going to rise up. The same way. You're going to stand up. Because as the rain comes down. So shall my word be. Goes forth out of my mouth, God says. By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So that things which were seen were not made of things which are visible. So basically he's telling us. We understand, we know this by faith. That the worlds, the natural, cre- uh, the natural realm, the natural world was framed, it was fashioned, it was designed, it was formed. It was brought into existence by the word of God. Everything is subject to the word of God. You need to know that. There's one thing that dominates this natural world. I mean, it, from, based on this verse, what I'm saying is the word of God supersedes the word of God. Is more powerful than everything in this natural realm. Who being the brightness of his glory. So Jesus is the brightness of the father's glory. And the express image of his person. Or the exact representation of his person. And upholding all things. By the word of his If his word can uphold and sustain and regulate this entire universe, can his word uphold, sustain and regulate your world and my world as small as it is compared to the entire universe? Definitely. Hebrews 4 verse 12. For the word of God is alive or living and powerful. It's doing something, living things. Uh, something is happening with that. It's not just letters. It's full of power. It's a carrier of the power of God. So when you and I say, God, I want your healing power, we must understand God's healing power is in His Word. You say, God, I, I want you delivering power. I want your Word to set me free. God, can you send your power and set me free? Yes, there is power that power to set you free is in that word. God, I want your power to bless me. I want your power to prosper me. God, I want your power, uh, just give me wisdom, whatever. That is in the word. First Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 13. For this reason, we also thank God without ceasing. Because when you received the word of God... Which you heard from us, 
you welcomed it not as the word of men but as it is in truth the word of god which also effectively works in you who believe see two things how you receive the word will determine whether it works in you or not when i read your word or when i hear your word i receive it not as the word of men but as it is in truth the word of god 